Greetings and welcome to another Tomorrow's World webcast. My name is Wallace Smith. It's great to have you here. And the topic I want to talk about today is exciting. It's innovative. And frankly, I think it's a little bit spooky. It comes from New Scientist magazine, uh, one of my favorite magazines. I have a real love-hate relationship with that magazine. And it's from the week of July 8th, 2015. And I think the topic it talks about is the beginning of a trend that we are going to see increasing in the years ahead. I, I think it's a given. The title says, first drug to help you live longer could go on trial next year. Now you might think, well, aren't most drugs meant to help us live longer? Like if we have cancer and we take drugs to try to stop the growth of cancer, doesn't that help us live longer? There's a difference with this one. The trials that they're wanting to make are purely to see if the drug makes you live longer, not even to correct anything wrong other than simply to address just the fact that you're getting old. Uh, let me read just a little bit from the article. It says, last month, which would be June from this article's perspective, last month the scientists behind the trial began talks with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to hammer out the practicalities, that is to hammer out the practicalities of future testing. It says the trial aims to test whether a diabetes drug called metformin also delays death and age-related conditions such as heart disease, cancer, and mental decline. It would be the first time a medicine has been tested specifically for delaying aging in a human trial. Uh, it is absolutely strange, I suppose, to think that we're at a point where we're going to begin testing drugs just to see if they slow down the aging process, and that alone, just to see if they stop us from getting older. Uh, metformin is a drug that has been used to address type 2 diabetes in adults. But what they found in working with the drug is it also had uh, some perhaps unexpected impacts on rates of heart disease and rates of cancer. And actually some uh, of the folks who took the drugs actually outlived non-diabetic individuals by about 15 percent that it actually added to their lifespan. And so they're fascinated about the possibility and they're looking into whether or not uh, this drug should be taken even by young people. In fact, the article talks about how the impact might be even better for those who take the drug at a young age to simply slow down the aging process in general, not a specific disease, but just aging, if you will, and an anti-mortality drug, if you will. You know, there's a lot of people who wrestle uh, with different kinds of ways to extend their life. I, I've, I've known people who practice severe calorie restriction where they just limit themselves to certain special nutrient-rich foods with micro uh, calories, if you will, uh, in an effort to extend their life. You know, we've been, we struggle against death. Nobody wants to die. But I really feel there are two things we have to keep in mind. First, why do we die? We die because of sin. We die because we have earned mortality. Eternal life is not ours to have. Uh, we die because of sin, not just physicalness, if you will, but sin. In fact, in particular, I'd like to read from Psalm 90. Psalm 90, starting in verse 9. For all our days have passed away in your wrath. He's speaking to God. We finish our years like a sigh. The days of our lives are 70 years, and if by reason of strength they are 80 years, yet their boast is only labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. You know, until there is an anti-sin pill, we are going to die. We are going to age, and this life is going to be temporary. And I guarantee you there is no such thing as an anti-sin pill. But the second point I want to make is what's more important than living long is filling that life with, with rich things, good things, properly living the life that we have. In fact, in that very same psalm, Psalm 90, uh, it says something else very worthwhile in verse 12. He asked God something. He says, so teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. There's something about mortality that focuses our mind. It should cause us to examine the days we're living, 
to see if they're worthwhile, to see if God would be pleased with them, to see if we're busy serving our fellow man or doing nothing but serving ourselves. We can choose a get way of life where our focus is on getting things for ourselves, or we can choose to spend our days in the give way of life, giving to other people, outflowing concern for others instead of a focus on ourselves. You know, pill or no pill, my days and your days are numbered. The most important question is what are we going to fill them with? I hope this has been a profitable webcast for you. We'll see you here for the next one.